There are many gravestones here in the cemetery that vandals have broken off over the years. Well, sad to say that Oak Grove has a history of this uh, in the old newspaper articles. There was always complaints about the city taking care of their cemetery. Um, and so, but it got forgotten because as the city moved on and uh, other cemeteries were established outside of the city limits, um, people sort of forgot Oak Grove. And um, it's just been a hidden treasure waiting for someone to discover it and restore it. When we first came out here, we could not believe um, the, the look of Oak Grove. Uh, it was overgrown with weeds and briars, and um, it, it was just atrocious. We could not believe that a cemetery could fall in this disrepair. So uh, we, we wanted to get involved and be active in cleaning it up and saving it for the city. The sad part about it waiting is that as, it, as the years roll on, less and less will be here. For, for the future generations to see and understand the past. This cemetery was very slowly eroding away. A lot of people don't know about Oak Grove Cemetery and that it is the oldest one in Glen County. Uh, it's a treasure. It's, a, like I said, the oldest cemetery in Glen County. I love it. We love just walking around out here. And it's got all the prominent citizens who lived here, you know, over 100 years ago. We all have a story to tell one day, and these folks really have a lot of stories to tell. And what their stories tell is they give us a glimpse into the past as what kind of place Brunswick was. And it also tells us why it is what it is today. Standing at the grave of Norwegian captain Telef Anderson. His ship, the Tri of Arendell, was in the port of Brunswick in 1889, where he was stricken with yellow fever and died. The first mate of his ship, he wanted to make sure that the captain's widow knew where her husband ended up. He took photographs of the grave. He sent that with a written record of the funeral to the widow in Norway. Years later, his grandson immigrated to the United States from Norway. He had a daughter. She had heard that there's a place called Brunswick, Georgia. So she contacted the local historian and immediately she and her father came to Brunswick and visited his grandfather's grave. And they have now become very generous donators and members of the Oak Grove Cemetery Society. plan for the next 10, 20 years, which we hope will come about. And it's just taking little baby steps, you know, it's what we do. It's almost immediately after we were formed, Oak Grove Cemetery Society was formed, the uh, first thing we did was we surveyed the cemetery and looking at what needed to be done. What, what was our work? When we got involved, uh, the chapel was in really bad disrepair, so we um, collected donations from various organizations and groups and people around town and we were able to buy cedar shaker shingles for the roof and we totally they totally took off the old roof and with the help of the city they did a fantastic job so they did the roof and inside and then later on we scraped and painted the chapel the next thing we know that we have to do is develop a conservation plan for rescuing and cleaning these wonderful historic artifacts and we've already started to do that work. We're standing by the tomb and family plot of Brunswick's founding father, Eubanus Dart. The restoration of Oak Grove Cemetery is a community effort. It is a, there's a lot of work here to be done. We have many monuments that need to be repaired and all that need to be cleaned. Here you can see an example of the efforts of Oak Grove Cemetery Society. We learn how to deal with the future by what's happened in the past. And if we forget our past, then our future is going to become very scary and uncertain. This is a place of Brunswick's history and heritage. And it's very important for future generations to understand that, that those wonderful historic buildings we see downtown and in the neighborhoods 
here are the people that designed them and drained them and built them. Uh, we, we do want to do everything we can out here to repair and restore and then keep it for future use and reference years and years down the road, 100 years from now. Mm -hmm.